Hi, Cheryl here today, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these passion flower bracelets. And I'm going to show you how to make it today on the Munster Tail Loom. And if you like this bracelet, I am going to see about making some variations on uh, different looms. And I'm going to see if I can make it on two forks for you, which I think I'll be able to do. So let's get started. Okay, first step in this is to take your band and put it on the first two pegs and you're going to twist it two times in between. Then you're going to put it on the back too and twist it two times in between. And then you're going to step up two pegs and put your band on and do the same thing in the back and put your band on and you're going to pull over as I pull over I push down I pull over I push down then your next step is to take a band and put it from front to back twist it and bring it back to the front and then you're going to pull this band up and over in the front and pull the back one oops I have them over each other up and over to the middle also and push everything down Then you start back over again. And from here, I usually count and help me keep track of where I'm at. I do one, two, and I pull them over. Careful not to pull it off. Then I pull the back over. And I push down and I put my middle ones on three, four, and I pull them over. This one I'm pulling, it's two bands you're pulling over because it's doubled. Push it down and pull the back over. push it down and five twist it bring it back and that gives us six and pull it up and over and up and over to the middle and push it down and you're done that set you start over again one, two, up and over to the back, push down, same thing in the back, three, Four, push down, five, and six. As always, if you stop this at any point, always stop with a band on the pegs so you know where you're at. You're not going to be able to look at this and say, oh, I know where I stopped, if you don't stop with a band on the pegs. Start back at the beginning. One. 
two. Push down. to the ring band. They're too close together. And push down. See it's starting to come out the bottom here. One, two, or if you need to stop, you can always just make sure you've completed the full set so that when you come back, you're coming back to the beginning. It's another option for you. Three, oops, solid two. Three, four. Five and six. And push it down. I'm just going to count to myself. As you can see, this is a fairly simple bracelet to make. Very simple steps. And I think you get a pretty cute bracelet out of it. The trickiest part really is just keeping track of what step you're on for the pattern. And you can count off, or you can just do it without counting, whatever is easier for you. I just showed you how to do it with the counting, because some people might find that easier. At least in the beginning, until they're used to doing it.
Okay, so there you go. You get a pretty pattern coming out the side here. And I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. I think it gives a nice bracelet. And it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to finish this off and come back and show you how to take this off of the dragon scale loom. All right, it is now ready to come off because it's wide enough to go around my wrist. So you can see that finished bracelet. And you're going to take it off by stepping it from the beginning step over to the end step. The end step is where you doubled it twice. So you're going to move your pegs over one peg on each side. And do this carefully so they don't fall off. And then pull the bottoms over the tops. And you're going to move it over one more. And this one should be your one that's your double band. You're going to pull your double band over now. Now you can put these both on the same side. I'm just going to use my fingers. You can use your hook if you want to. And this is what you're going to put your clip through. You can use whatever kind of clip you want. I just happen to have a Q-clip, but you can use a C-clip for this. But put your clip through before you take it off the pegs and make sure it's securely on there before you take it off. And then you have it all together before you take it off. Okay, and then you're going to bring your clip around to the other side. Just set that clip down on this side. You can take your clip through. where you have it twisted on this side and where you had it twisted on this side and it's going to cooperate with me get it with my fingers first then you can get a band of the same color and pull it through. Whoop. And this is what you're going to hook your clip to. So I'm going to bring my clip around and hook it to here. And then take this clip out, the hook out. And there you have it, your Passion Flower Bracelet. So if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And thank you very much for watching. Please check back. I have a lot of videos online, quite a few, and I am the original designer of the Dragon Scale Bracelet and the Dragon Scale Cuff, so I do have tutorials for that on both the Rainbow Loom and the um, Dragon Scale um, I'm sorry, and the Monster Tail Loom. So please check that out. Thank you for watching.